The president made the emergency order this afternoon, having the FAA ground that at the aircraft. President Trump talked about coordinating with Canada during this, giving them information as they did the same thing. He also talked about Boeing as a company and how they have a, quote, phenomenal track record. And also, in speaking to Boeing, uh, and speaking to airlines, I spoke with American Airlines, I spoke with a number of airlines, and speaking to the airlines, I think that we all agree that this was the right decision to make. It didn't have to be made, but we thought it was the right decision to make. Well, Boeing says it continues to have full confidence in the safety of the 737 MAX, but supports the decision to ground the planes out of an abundance of caution. Meanwhile, there is growing frustration over where the black boxes recovered from the Ethiopian Airlines crash will be sent to be analyzed and why that hasn't happened yet. Hmm. Wow, we want to bring in King 5 Aviation Specialist Glenn Farley. Uh, Glenn, this, where do we even start with all of this? It's evolving by the minute. It is evolving. Today was probably the craziest day really since Sunday in terms of all of this right now. The black boxes sort of leave, leave a black hole of information because they have not been read out yet. Something that we would have expected as well as the regulators to have had some idea by now. Let's go back to the scene outside there in Ethiopia. These are some new pictures just coming in. This just shows you the incredible conditions when this plane 737s are still large planes, even though they're bigger ones, slammed into the ground. The black boxes, the FAA today saying were damaged. They will be flown out tonight to France, and it is in France where those black boxes will be read out. Now, meanwhile, there are 74 737 MAX jets that belong to U.S. airlines. Those jets are flown by Southwest, seen here. Uh, this plane landing today. Once it was on the ground, it stopped. Also, American Airlines flies the same plane, the 737 MAX 8. United flies the 737 MAX 9. The 9 a little bit longer with a few other seats. Basically, all of these planes are grounded unless they need to ferry them without passengers to be repositioned. So I was on a conference call earlier today with the acting head of the Federal Aviation Administration about why the agency went from yesterday when it was backing the MAX saying we don't need to ground them and today. We were resolute in our position that we would not take action until we had data to support taking action. So bottom line here is there's something called the ADSB, which has got kind of a weird name. We'll talk about it more at five. But basically, it's on all airplane. We'll eventually be on just about everything, but uh, it's on all airliner cockpits right now. And it broadcasts all sorts of information, some of it by satellite. And what they found was that the track of the three minutes that they had from the Ethiopian jet closely resembled what they saw in the Lion Air crash, which is the first oh. of these MAX crashes Got back it. in mm -hmm. October. And it was that similarity that caused them to go ahead and do this. They're saying this could be from completely different, for, for completely different reasons. Uh, this crash versus Lion Air, we still don't have a final determination in Lion Air yet. We will right find now, this out. We'll find this out when they find the black box. Will they be able to get all that information? They have all the, all the black boxes have been found. The black boxes have not been read out. So basically, right. it's almost like having a black box without a box on board. Uh, and there's a bigger movement to try and record this kind of data okay. off, off the airplane so you don't have to, like, dive into the sea and lose them as we did on the Lion Air case. I know that it's hard to estimate, but do you have any idea like how long these planes could be grounded and what that would mean locally for folks? So the FAA says it doesn't know, but here's what they did talk about today. Uh, the acting uh, 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 administrator is that they are talking a lot about testing that is currently undergoing and underway here in Seattle. Uh, we were actually tracking a Boeing painted 737 MAX 7, which is a shorter version of what you see on your screen right now, and they were out doing flight testing over Western Washington. Boeing has said, we are working on a software fix for this. One of the things that that would do is limit the ability of this system called MCAS that is an, actually a safety system. It's unique to the MAX. It is not on other 737s to put that plane potentially into a dive. What is frustrating to pilots that I talk uh, with is that there's a solution to this, which is it creates a condition called runaway trim, where the horizontal 
uh, stabilizer Stabilize. in the back mm -hmm. of the airplane is going up like this, mm -hmm. but based on a bad sensor input into the computer, it's causing the plane to dip down. Okay. So inside the cockpit, there's a wheel that just goes around, clickety, 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 click. You can stop that. You can throw a couple of switches and stop that. The procedure was in the manual, but pilots complained the actual discussion of this system that they didn't even know about was not. No. The question I think a lot of us have is, in the wake of the Lion Air crash, almost six months ago, there was service bulletins out from the FAA, there were, there were or from Boeing, there were air readiness directors from the FAA, other uh, regulators around the world who were following the FAA's lead. And so what I think a lot of us are struggling with did the guy in Ethiopia not get the memo? Right. Mm. Uh, if, okay. in fact, these have that in common, but mm -hmm. we don't know. And we are hoping in the next few days uh, to get some of that information off of those black boxes. Mm -hmm. wow. Glenn, thank you. Much more yeah. to come, obviously, on the story. Thank you for that update. Uh